I was blown away. Now, you don't hear me say things like that very often, right? That I was blown away, no matter what it is, even really crazy expensive things. I'm not usually blown away. This time, I was. $950 system for amp and speakers, and this one is a keeper. It really is. Here it is. So that's an NAD 316 BEE stereo integrated amplifier, and below it is a Klipsch RP 600M. RP stands for Reference Premier. This is, in fact, Klipsch's highest end bookshelf speaker for the lofty price of $550. Now, the NAD, on the other hand, well, that one has been replaced by the NAD C316 BEE V2. And the main difference between this one, this is an old one, and the current one is that the current one has a moving magnet input. The current price is $399. So we'll call that $400, add that to $550 for a pair of these clipses, and you got a $950 system. Pretty good if you need to play digital. Okay, it's going to be over $1,000. Get the Shit Mati 3, um, which is $100. Bucks. So for $1,050, you could have a digitally oriented system. Now I will link to all of these products and where to get them and stuff in the caption below this video. The video, on the other hand, is for me to go on and on about how amazing this system really is. First of all, it has life. It has dynamics that you won't hear in other $1,000 systems. It just doesn't happen. And the main reason it happens here, other than the fact that the NAD is a killer amplifier for 400 bucks, is that, the, that these clipses are dynamic as hell. They have life. They have this texture, this palpable quality that I just don't hear from other $500 speakers, especially in singers. You hear their, the expressiveness of a singer, how they're inhabiting a song. It's remarkable. Drums just have this snap, this crack, this life that you don't get from normal conventional box speakers. So I reviewed the little brother of this Klipsch, the R51M. They're $250 a pair. That's a, a formal CNET review. And I compared it with the ELAC debut B6.2, the current B6. And that one had more bass. It was warmer sounding. It was sweeter sounding. But in terms of life and all the things I just attributed to this speaker, the little Klipsch for 250 bucks a pair, just demolished the, e, the ELAC. And when I added a sub, a Pioneer sub, a $300 Pioneer sub to that little guy, it was like, whoa, <laughs> it's so alive. It just has this balls, this power, this potency. Remarkable. But I'm not reviewing that right now. I'm talking about this system, which just kind of, it's a thrill for me to talk about and write about things like this because they're so rare. Uh, and I keep listening to the speaker long after I needed to stop. I kept going, and I'm still going. I'm still finishing up the review today, which will post soon on, my, on uh, the CNET blog. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up with the, with the video. Um, oh, so the particulars of, those, of the speaker is it has a six and a half inch copper woofer. They call it ceramitallic or something like that in Klipsch speak. The tweeter is a one inch titanium speaker in a Tractrex horn. That's that square horn that the tweeter is mounted in. That's a, that's a Klipsch thing and it has been for ages. Um, it has a, it's a rear ported speaker, but instead of a round port, it actually has a port that kind of looks like this Tractrex horn. Um, it's bi-wireable. Uh, this version comes with, uh, that, I'm, that I have here, is in ebony finished vinyl ebony wood, which is actually very attractive. It also comes for, I think, $100 extra in piano black, that is this, I'm talking about the clip speaker. The RP600M also comes in piano black for $100 more. Six, I think it's $650 a pair. But anyway, I'm just, I just love this combination because it kind of does it all for me. Now, is it perfect? No. First of all, some would say uh, it's bright. Well, it is a, ha a, a hair bright. I don't think it has much in the way of horn colorations as we've come to describe them. I can't say that they're, they're gone entirely, but I'm not 
thinking about them most of the time when I'm playing this speaker. I'm thinking about how much fun I'm having listening to this speaker. That's, that's the juice of it, really. That's what makes this such a deal. Um, so last night, I was in New York City. I went to the Blue Note Jazz Club to hear Sheila Jordan. She was 90 years old, and that woman still has it. She was, oh, she was incredible. And anyway, so I come home, and I remembered that I had this Sheila Jordan recording uh, made by Todd Garfinkel on his label, M.A. Recording, in 1988, so 30 years ago. And I'm listening to that recording, and I was like, yeah, she was younger, and she, she could sing better 30 years ago. But that recording and Sheila are dynamic range city. Holy crap. The, the, way, the way that woman can sing and pound it out and, just, and also go be really quiet and expressive. She's accompanied only by a bass player, a guy named Harvey Schwartz. Um, the CD is still in print. Not all MA recordings are, but this one is, and I will link to that as well in the caption below this video. Uh, and, it's, and, and his bass on these speakers was just so tactile, so palpable, so present. Now, I'm not going to tell you that these speakers' bass is big and ballsy and fat. That these speakers don't do, but it's very well put together. You really feel texture from the bass on these speakers. I did experiment using these speakers with uh, a PSB sub, a very old sub that I have, a PSB sub zero I for improved. Um, that was like a, it's an eight inch sub, $300, $350 back, way back when. And, uh, but I, I think any decent sub would be a good pairing if you need to feel, you know, the, the, the bass pounding on your chest and, fla and flapping your pants legs. This speaker's not gonna do it. The things that it does well, dynamics, palpability, textures, life, acoustic instruments, saxes, trumpets, it's goosebump city when you listen to this speaker with the NAD. I've also used it with better electronics. I use it with the Parasound Hint 6 integrated amp. That's a $3,500 amp with that amp. The difference between that and the NAD are very much present, but that amp is $3,500 or $3,200. It's, it's a lot more than the speakers. But it just shows that you put better, in, better into this speaker, the better it's going to be, the better it's going to sound. So I think we've come to the end of this exciting chapter of the Audiophiliac Daily Show. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, please like it, share it, do all that social media stuff. And I'll see you back here again very, very soon. Thanks for watching.